I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and welcome to our podcast for the health of it. Remember to subscribe to our podcasts, and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. The information presented on this program is not intended to take the place of your personal physician's advice, and it is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Discuss this information with your own physician or healthcare provider to determine what is right for you. Are you suffering needlessly? Dr. Joe can give you advice on how to naturally get well and stay well. Dr. Joe Esposito. What we're talking today about, uh, we've covered this a lot, is the gut, your digestive system. How many people have digestive system problems? Raise your hands. Most of you do. And the reason is I've seen this time and time again. I've been in practice 37 years. I see this all the time. Patients come to us all the time uh, with digestive issues, acid reflux, heartburn, burping, glass, bloating, uh, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, constipations. Uh, So we're going to cover a lot of that, but we've covered a little little of that in other shows, a lot of that in other shows. We're going to talk a little bit about how that works, and then we're going to talk about the enzyme effect on your digestive system because your body produces enzymes to break food down. If you ever wonder, how is it that I could eat a double beef cheese hamburger and it becomes hair or eye tissue or toenails? Your body does an amazing job. It breaks down the food, disassembles it, and then takes the raw materials and then reassembles it into whatever you need, whether it's blood cells or uh, taste buds or whatever your body needs, it reassembles this. Now, if you're not breaking down your food properly and you're not reassembling the nutrients, your body is not functioning at 100%. So you have to have a normally functioning digestive system, and the digestive system works because of enzymes. Now, nobody talks about enzymes. It's, it's the kind of the redheaded stepchild of, of healthcare, but you need to hear about it because enzymes are the reason we're alive. You are nothing but a sack of chemicals. That's all you are. I can break you down, and you can go online and look it up, how, much, how many minerals your body is made up of, how many chemicals your body is made up of. And you'll see, also tell you usually what it's worth. And it could be worth around $37, $40. That's about all you're worth, really. Sorry about that, guys. But if we put enzymes into the game, the enzymes, enzymes are kind of like matchmakers. They make things happen. So the enzyme might say, okay, hey, you, Mr. Uh, Calcium, I want you to get together with Mr. I don't know, zinc and selenium uh, and create this whatever end product is. And so enzymes are the reason we're alive. Now, as we get older, uh, enzyme levels drop. That's called aging. So the aging process really is our enzyme levels changing, which is affecting everything else. That's a little more complicated than that, too. But if we can keep those enzyme levels high, we can really slow down the aging process in most cases. So it really is a simple, easy thing to do, and nobody seems to get that. We treat, keep trying to come up with creams and lotions and potions and rubs and scrubs, and we keep trying to come up with something to reverse aging, turn back time. But we can easily do that just by getting our enzyme levels up. The other stuff is fine, but that's how that works. Now, the gut is so complex, and it's important to every aspect of our body, and it has uh, so much more research going on in the medical community than ever before. Because we used to think it was pretty simple. You eat food, you break it down, you digest it, it, it and, and it's done. But the question was, what is digestion? What does that look like? Where does this nutrient go? This nutrient goes here, which causes this, which causes this, which causes this. And that's what we call in the business a pathway. So when you understand the pathways, it makes life a lot easier. I wish when I went to school, I, I wish I can go back in time and understand some real simple, easy things like what's a pathway. Doctors, you know, my teachers would say, okay, this is going to be the pathway for production of serotonin. And they'd go through the process. And it should have been clear to me, but I always wish people made things easier. And that's what we try to do in this show. I remember in undergraduate school, I took anatomy and physiology. And I remember the first day walking into the class, and it was Dr. T- T- Professor Tator and Professor Anagnostakis. One taught physiology, one taught anatomy. And they said, we're going to talk about physiology. And they went off on teaching physiology. Had no idea what the word physiology meant. This is way before cell phones, of course. So I like to give you a word and then give you a definition of it so that it all makes sense. Because a lot of people assume that you know what that is. I, I do that if I talk to my friends in the, in the computer world. They'll start using terms. I'm like, whoa, dude, calm down. I have no idea what that means. Music, I have no idea what that means. So slow down and make it simple for me. So that's what we're trying to do. And and, and digestion is such a complex process that we're breaking it down. But I promise you, a year from now, we can do this exact same show, uh, same topic. It'll be a totally different show because the research is just, just coming out leaps and bounds on digestion. So the term you might hear 
because the digestive system affects the immune system, the mood, uh, mental health, auto, auto, autoimmune system, uh, endocrine system, skin conditions, cancer, all of that's related to it. And the term you might hear people talk about is microbiome. Now, that's another word. If you don't know what it means, doesn't. if I say microbiome and then go off on a, a two-hour uh, diatribe on microbiome, you don't know what microbiome means. It means nothing to you. Microbiome are the microorganisms li living in your intestine, the bacteria, the virus, uh, the germs, the fungus. Those are the little guys that live in your colon. All collectively, they're called the microbiome. Person has between 300 and 500 different species of bacteria in their digestive system alone. Years ago, we thought it was about 100 different species. Now we're up to about 500, about 500 because we keep discovering new things. So the bacteria, and again, there's other microorganisms that live in there, are incredibly beneficial to every aspect of your health. Now, there's also bad guys in there too. And so the good guys, oh, it's always a battle between the good guys and the bad guys. The good guys, you always want winning out. When they win out, you'll never get rid of all the bad guys, but then you're healthy. When the bad guys take over, you're sick. It's pretty simple. My German grandmother, I remember, would always say, if you had any problems whatsoever, did you go to the bathroom? Did you go to the bathroom? You're not going to the bathroom. Eat some prunes. And that was her thing. It's like, get the bowels moving, and then you're going to get healthy again. Well, she didn't know why, she just knew how. If she got the bowels moving, body would, body would be good. Well, now we know why. So grandma was right. We called her nanny, she's German. Nanny was right. So there's a wide variety of good bacteria in your gut that build up the immune system. They, they improve symptoms of, of, of depression, they help combat obesity, and there's a lot of other benefits involved. So even the bacteria in your colon can determine your weight. That's how important this stuff is. So how do you know you have something wrong with your gut. Because people come in and say, well, Dr. Joe, you, you talk about the gut, the gut, the gut, the gut. How do I know if there's a problem? How about an upset stomach, gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, heartburn? These are all signs of an unhealthy gut, which is signs of an unhealthy uh, immune system, digestive system, emotional system, uh, nervous system, muscular system. Everything is affected by the gut. So if you have some of these symptoms, there's something wrong. Now, if you eat a lot of sugar, how many people eat a lot of sugar? Raise your hands. A lot of you do. I know you do. You come in as patients. I know what you're eating. And I can tell by looking at you usually what you're eating. High processed food, sugars. We called them hyperpalatables the other day. Uh, we did a show. Hyperpalatable foods are foods that really taste so good. Palatable means it's palatable, tastes good. Hyperpalatables mean you just want to keep eating them. And there's a branch of food science that's dedicated strictly to making foods more hyperpalatable so that you buy more of them. Okay, we know that carbohydrates, salt, and fat is the magic combination to make a food more hyperpalatable. But if you have uh, increased sugar cravings, this can be a sign that there's an imbalance in your gut because there's bacteria in your gut and there's also yeast. And the yeast is, uh, is imbalanced with the bacteria, but if the yeast has an overgrowth, the yeast can start taking over, killing off some of the good bacteria, or you kill off the good bacteria with things like antibiotics, fluorinated water, chlorinated water, even commercial meats and dairy products many times have antibiotics in them. And so you're getting these low-grade, low-dose antibiotics in your body, killing off the bacteria. It doesn't affect the yeast. The yeast start to multiply. As the yeast start to multiply, they can burrow holes in your colon. That's called a leaky gut syndrome. And then the yeast can get into your blood system and then set up shop in warm, moist places. Your mouth, your crotch, your rectum, uh, your armpits, so your ears. And so if you get a yeast infection, that can be a real serious problem. We're going to have to do a whole show on yeast infections, I think. I've, I've got so much to cover on yeast infections. But if you're eating sugar, particularly high fructose corn syrup, that can increase inflammation. And inflammation is the precursor to many diseases, even cancer. So if you have obvious digestive issues, there's something wrong. Unintentional weight changes, weight gain or weight loss without making any changes in your diet or exercise habit could be a sign of an unhealthy gut. Imbalanced gut can lead to absorption problems. It can uh, affect the regulation of blood sugar and it can actually store fat. Weight loss may be caused by small intestinal bacterial overgrowth called SIBO, S-I-B-O. So if you have weight loss, you may have too many bacteria in your colon and it's overgrown and what you're doing is you're feeding it with things like sugar, making the problem worse. Now, one of the things you've heard me talk about in the past, if you've heard the show before, is when you have acid reflux or even cold, a gas or bloating, a diarrhea, constipation, it could be a physical problem. And this is something that very few doctors ever address and I wish they would. So your stomach can push up against your diaphragm. And if it ruptures up through the diaphragm, it's called a hiatal hernia. 
So many times, well, almost every time, I've never seen it not, if you have acid reflux, the stomach is ruptured up through the uh, diaphragm and acid is coming up into your throat. And that can cause some real serious problems. Ultimately, it could even lead to things like esophageal cancer. So if you have acid reflux, we can take medication, and I get this question every day. Well, Dr. Joe, I'm taking medication for my acid reflux, and I want to get off it. What should I do? Well, I always tell you, never come off medication without your doctor. Whoever prescribed it, it's their job. They're the ones who are in charge of your medication. But with the stomach, we can actually pull or adjust or uh, manipulate the stomach down away from the diaphragm so that the stomach relaxes, and that can cause the whole colon to relax. I have this condition. And when mine acts up, I got to grab one of my doctors to adjust my stomach. We pull the stomach away from the diaphragm, and it's amazing. Now, my symptoms are I burp a lot, and I get really hungry. Even though I ate, my stomach is full, I want to keep eating and eating and eating. If that's the case, I know my stomach's out of place. So I have my doctors adjust my stomach, and it's amazing. So if you have this urge to eat, even though you're full, you know you've eaten enough food, your stomach might even hurt. This is the thing that I find works best for me. It probably can work well for you too. You might want to come see us. We can go ahead and do that. And by the way, if you do want to come see us in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We'd love to be your doctors. Uh, We have patients come from all over the world because with the internet, of course, this show is is international. So if you have a health issue, you want to come see us, you're more than welcome to. You can book an appointment right online, drjoe.com. D-R-J-O-E.com is our website. Um, Somebody typed at drjoe.com. No, 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 no. DrJoe.com is the website. At Dr. Joe Esposito, all one word, is our uh, handle, our, our, our handle, that's the right word, for uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So at Dr. Joe Esposito, if you want to follow us, which by the way you should, because we post every single day. We post health tips every single day at Dr. Joe Esposito, the website, DrJoe.com. Two different things, okay? So uh, you can read our article we wrote on GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, and I talk about the techniques we use to actually adjust the stomach. It's about three paragraphs. You can read it, I promise. Everything on the website is designed for folks that uh, have short attention, th- attention spans. Even these shows, I know they're a little lengthy sometimes, or an hour, but we always give you new information, so we always keep you hooked in there to, to listen or watch. Sleep disturbances, constant fatigue. I can't tell you how many patients come to us and say, Dr. Joe, I can't sleep at night. Well, if your stomach is up against a diaphragm, uh, you may have acid reflux or burping because you don't have gravity pulling the stomach back down. When you stand up, gravity pulls the stomach away from the diaphragm. When you lay down, gravity is taken out of the equation. You can get that acid reflux. And the stomach's main job is to take proteins and break them into amino acids. Now, the amino acid tryptophan, going to get chem- technical here for 30 seconds, tryptophan becomes serotonin. Serotonin helps you calm down and focus. Serotonin becomes melatonin, which is the chemical in your brain that helps you sleep. So many times, in fact, I've seen this thousands of times, people have a digestive issue. We fix the digestive issue. The serotonin becomes melatonin. Melatonin helps them sleep, and they can get back to sleep again, and they don't have the acid reflux. So it's a good idea to get that fixed as well. Um, So if you have sleep disturbances, if you're constantly fatigued, you may not be absorbing your nutrients properly. If you can't absorb your nutrients, you can't get the energy that your body needs, and that's why you're tired all the time. Make sense? So uh, chronic cough. I know one of my patients, uh, she has a chronic cough, and sometimes we, we have to adjust her stomach, and that helps tremendously with her chronic cough. We've seen many, many cases like that. So chronic cough, acid reflux, throat burning, sinus problems, the acid can go up into your sinuses, burping, gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, uh, you, mood swings, ADD, ADHD, many, many, many times, I, almost every time, I find is a digestive problem that's never been diagnosed. We fix the digestive problem. It fixes the absorption of uh, amino acids, which then gives the body the amino acids to become neurotransmitters and makes the brain work. Uh, We talked about addiction the other day. It's on the website, drjoe.com. We did a two-part show on addiction. Uh, Just type in addiction or food addiction, and we cover it uh, pretty much in depth on how the brain works and how the proteins break down to amino acids, produce neurotransmitters. Uh, A lot of doctors love that show because I gave them a lot of good information that they can use that they never understood. They knew How it worked, they didn't know why it worked. And I'll give you why it worked. So, and it's real simple. I make it real easy for you to understand. So if you have a food addiction or alcohol addiction, uh, gambling, sex, smoking, whatever it is, you might want to listen to that show, two shows on addiction, probably give you good insight as to what you can do, hopefully, to get the problem resolved. Many times when I see a skin condition, uh, eczema, psoriasis, fungus, uh, itchy skin, dry skin, I always want to go back to the digestive system. Because the digestive system is where the food is being broken down, which can be causing a lot of the problems. So we can fix the stomach physically. Uh, we're going to talk later on about enzymes. Uh, You've got to get enzymes in your diet, folks. And this is, I believe, 
that if we get people on nothing but a super greens and essential source, which is the minimum supplements you should take every day, both of them have enzymes in them. If we did nothing but got people on super greens and essential source, we would solve a lot of the world's health problems. Not all, a lot. And then in certain cases, we even get them on digestive enzymes, and that's on the website too. We have Dr. Joe's Digestive Enzymes, drjoe.com. If we got them on digestive enzymes as well, the world would be a better place. It would just be so crazy good because we'd be absorbing our nutrients. It would help a lot of mood swings. It would help a lot of emotional issues, physical issues, chemical issues, neurological issues. There's no downside. That's the key to this. There's no downside to getting the enzyme levels in the digestive system working properly. And if I can teach all the doctors in the world what I'm teaching you today and then teach them the techniques to fix the digestive system, I really believe our healthcare costs in, across the world would plummet. Chiropractic care, most effective, least expensive treatment for pain. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, chiropractic care, then we do the digestive components. I truly believe we have an answer to lowering healthcare costs dramatically. Fix the nervous system, fix the digestive system, get you on a good diet, get the chemistry right. Do those three things, and we're going to filter out a lot of things that right now people think are hopeless. And in our office, we do a lot of things. We do chiropractic, of course, uh, digestive issues, stomach work. Uh, we can do PRP, stem cells, pain management, injections into the spine. Uh, we'll be adding other services as time goes on. And the reason we're doing this is because a lot of people don't know these services exist. A lot of people don't know what PRP is. How many people know what PRP is? Raise your hand. Okay, what PRP is is we take blood out of you, a little bit, spin it down, and take out uh, the platelet-rich plasma. Those platelets are growth factors. We can inject it back into the body in a concentrated form to help reduce inflammation and stimulate healing. It's going to work on everybody? No, it's not. But I tell you what, it's a really relatively inexpensive treatment for uh, inflammation, arthritis, knee issues, spinal issues, disc degeneration, uh, torn ligaments, muscle injuries. Uh, yeah, really effective and relatively inexpensive compared to surgery, which is going to cost tens and tens of thousands of dollars, maybe more. Um, so we, we offer these things because most people don't even know these services exist. And that's why we're trying to get the word out that you, you may, we may have the answer that you never even knew it was even out there. But skin irritations, many times a digestive problem, many times liver issues. We'll get people on super greens and essential source. A glutathione is great for the liver. Nitric oxide to increase circulation. And in many cases, we start to see the skin conditions go away. So skin conditions usually come from the inside out, not from the outside in. Again, a warning sign that there's a, a digestive issues. Autoimmune conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, Graves' disease, uh, any type of autoimmune disease, I, I, we did shows on autoimmunity, you can go to the website, listen to that show on autoimmunity, almost always has a digestive component. And I get people off the two most uh, things that cause the most sensitivity, wheat and dairy products. If we can get people off wheat and dairy products, a lot of times the bowels calm down, takes the stress off the immune system, and the autoimmune conditions many times are now under control. So if we have an autoimmune condition, go listen to the show we did, drjoe.com on autoimmunity. I think you'll be very, very pleased with a lot of things you can do. This is not an end-all be-all. This is not the cure for any disease. But these are things that you can do to take control of your health. And in many, 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 many cases, the problems either get better or go away. We've done shows on diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, cancer. Again, I'm not treating these diseases. I'm telling you things you can do to help go get these things under control. Uh, food intolerance. If you eat certain foods and you have a reaction to them, again, wheat and dairy are the number one Dairy's number one, wheat's number two. People have reactions to them. But if you have difficulty digesting these foods, uh, it could be due to poor quality of bacteria in your gut. Bacteria in your gut and enzymes. So we're going to talk about that a little later as to what to do about that. So there's a lot of evidence that food allergies oftentimes are due simply to an imbalance in the gut. Fix that, and a lot of food allergies go away. Because we can do a food allergy test on you. It's one of the tests we offer. We offer a micronutrient test. We can test the levels of nutrients in your body, really effective. We do hormone tests. Um, uh, thyroid tests, uh, male hormone tests, female hormone tests on the website, drjoe.com under clinics. And we can do these tests, but now the question is, we get the test back, what do you do about it? Every day, patients come in our offices and say, all right, I got this blood work done. What do I do about it? Yeah, you're high in this, you're low in that, you need more of this, you need more of that. Well, what do I, how do I do there? I don't, I don't know. So we kind of give you advice on how to do that. So a couple of things you can do to help your gut health. Lower your stress. There's three types of stress that we have control over, chemical, physical, and emotional. Chemical stress is easy. You have control over that, what you eat, what you expose yourself to, air fresheners, perfumes, colognes, uh, new car smells, scented candles. All these things are at, can have adverse effects on your body. They're made with something called endocrine disruptors. 
So fix that. Fix the chemical stress. Go to our website, drjoe.com. Listen to the lecture I did on the seven deadly sins of nutrition. And the follow-up lecture is called, So What Can I Eat? Type them into the website. Hit enter. You'll get them. It's free. That'll be a good guide as to what to eat, what not to eat. And we have over 1,500 hours of audio and video shows on our website, drjoe.com. And if you want to follow our podcast, any podcast service, it's called at, For the Health of It. For the Health of It, Dr. Joe, that's our podcast. We're on all the podcast services. Become, become a, a, a Dr. Joe junkie. Become a Joe at all. Start to Joe at all. Tell your friends, I Joe this. I Joe this. I know that. So you can do that. Uh, that'll take care of the chemical stress. Physical stress, chiropractic care is the most effective, least expensive. We start out with chiropractic care. Then we can go into pain management if we need to. We can do PRP injections. We can do stem cells if we need to. I like to start out slow and build it up. So many people go to these clinics and they say, yeah, you need surgery. Sometimes you do, but many times there's options. But if you go to a surgeon, they may not even know the options exist. So that's why I like to start out patients in our offices, and then we can go to different areas if we need to, if necessary. Many, many, in fact, most cases, we don't have to go anywhere else. Our office is, this, is the last stop. Now, there may be other times we have to go other places, but it's pretty rare. So the chemical stress is food and what you expose yourself to. The physical stress many times is chiropractic. And then the emotional stress oftentimes is due to the fact that the brain is processing so much information uh, because the chemicals are imbalanced. So that's why we talk about digestive enzymes and fixing the gut to break the proteins into amino acids to produce neurotransmitters. I know it's a lot of blah, blah, blah. That's how it works. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Many times you fix the chemical, physical, and emotional stress. Sleep becomes natural to you. Eat slower. I am, the, this is one of my downsides, man. I eat way too fast. So slow down, chew your food. It's got to mix with saliva. Saliva has something called salivary amylase, breaks down carbohydrates, goes into the stomach, gastric uh, amylase kicks in, and that helps break it down even further. But you got to start the process in your stomach. Drink enough water. If I had to give you one nutrient that most people need, it's water. We got to drink more water in our diets because we don't feel thirst until many times it's too late. So I would strongly advise you drink. And if you're drinking and your pee is clear, you're probably drinking enough water. Unless you're taking Dr. Joe's B complex, then it might be a little yellow. That's fine. Um, but the pee should be clear. And really, you got to start taking a probiotic. I mean, I can't imagine not taking probiotics. I take them every day. Now, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source are the minimum supplements everybody should take. Now, they're on the website, drjoe.com. They have pre and probiotics in them. Then you can also take Dr. Joe's probiotic. Chances are, unless you have SIBO, small intestinal uh, uh, bacterial overgrowth, you're going to do really well with a probiotic. And I recommend that everybody start taking them. They're on the website, drjoe.com as well. It's a separate supplement, Dr. Joe's probiotics. And if you're having food intolerances, stay away from them. Change your diet. Go to a plant-based diet. Eat more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Um, stay away from the alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. That's the seven deadly sins of nutrition, if you don't know that. Alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener. Get those out of your life. Add more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Minimum supplements, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Pain management, chiropractic care, of course, is the starting point for everybody, I believe. We can always go further than that in our offices, PRP, stem cells. And now you have what's called a health care plan. Most people have health insurance, but not a health care plan. If you have a health problem, headaches, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, acid reflux, digestive issues, acid reflux, uh, causing diarrhea or bloating, make an appointment to come see us. Stop suffering needlessly. The number one complaint I get by far, I've been getting this for 37 years, why didn't I do this sooner? Why did I wait so long? And you're going to be angry with yourself when we finally fix it. Hopefully we can. So to make an appointment, drjoe.com. Uh, we can do it right online or call us. Now, it's usually $375 for the first visit. We've reduced that to $149 through the COVID issues. So it's a good opportunity for you to take advantage of this and get in and get well. That includes exam, x-rays, consultation, first adjustment, the second visit, going over your x-rays, and a nutritional evaluation. All of that, it's probably worth over $1,000. We're doing it for $149 because we're trying to help people out. And then treatment beyond that, we, cut, we take most insurances. So I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. Tell your friends about the show. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening to For the Health Fit. Remember to subscribe to this podcast and I'll help you naturally get well and stay well. You can also listen to and call into my radio show live Sunday evenings from 7 to 9 Eastern Time on WSBRadio.com and on a WSB Radio app.